Hello everyone, I'm Finn and welcome to my journey towards a life closer to boat building and sailing with a few other adventures thrown in along the way. So I've made some real progress over the last three weekends on getting the fashion piece carved out and scribed into the underside of the counter stern which is where it's going to be fitted and I've also started on measuring up and calculating the timber that's going to be required to rebuild the coach roof. Okay, so I spent the day yesterday with my dad here, lending me a bit of a hand to make the templates that I need to carve off the back of this fashion piece to fit it nicely against the unfair curve of the counter stern. Now this part of the build is um, a little bit tricky. Now in the back of the counter stern where this fashion piece is fixed to the hull, um, the, the curve there isn't perfectly fair. To fit this fashion piece accurately and nice and tight to the hull, I've made a template of the top section and of the bottom section and those templates with a centre line marked on can get positioned on either edge of this fashion piece timber that I'm going to use and with that I then have both sides of the timber with the templates marked on so I can see where the face of this timber has got to get shaped to. So now that's marked on, I can see both lines. I'm just going to get the skill saw set up and set it to the shallowest depth on some of these low points and just run straight across, giving myself a few notches and areas to work where I can just chisel out the majority of the wood and get it down close to the lines I need.
Okay, so the next job with making the fashion piece and scrubbing it into the underside of this transom is to do a bit of a chalking method um, just to transfer marks onto the board that I've started to carve already um, just so I can find the high spots and just continue to carve them out. So what I'm doing is just going to cover this whole face with chalk um, and then I can position the board up on the underside and give it a little wiggle to scrape off some chalk from the concrete onto the timber that will give me the, an idea of where the high spots are and then I can just carve that out and get it to a better, better fit. So now I've got the first timber shaped pretty well to the hull. I've now got to rip down another piece of yellow pine and attach the two pieces together uh, using a hardwood tongue. So I'm now going to route out a groove in each timber and then machine up a hardwood tongue and glue the two pieces together so it's ready to mark up the correct bevels and camber off the deck.
So lots of you have commented on my videos asking uh, what the name of my boat is. Now, when I bought the boat, um, she was never formally named. Now the previous owner did pick a name for the boat, um, which is Lady Orderly. But personally, I don't really like that name, uh, as I don't feel like I'm very orderly. So to have a boat called Lady Orderly, um, for me, doesn't really work. So I think I've decided on the best way to name the boat. Now, if you're one of my patrons, then I'm going to put it to you guys to come up with some ideas for names for the boat. And then I will choose the few that I like the most and then put that back out for you guys to then choose from the narrowed down selections one that you feel and I feel fits and works well for this boat. So if you'd like to find out more on how you can support the project, take a look in the description below this video. You'll find a link to my Patreon page where you can join the crew and potentially be the one that chooses the name for this boat. So as you can tell from the steam coming out when I breathe, uh, it's pretty cold here in the workshop. So what I've just done is to stretch the tarp over the timbers that I've just laminated up and I've got my heater underneath just to help with the cooking process as the epoxy cures, just to keep the temperature up. Right, so while I wait for the epoxy to cure on the laminated fashion pieces, uh, the next stage for the project is to rebuild the coach roof. So the first job is to measure up all of the existing timber work and phone around a couple of local companies to see if I can get the hardwood supplied to get on with rebuilding the cab sides. So let's get measuring. That's all I've got time for in this episode, but be sure to subscribe and hit the little bell icon next to it to get notified of my next release. So I'd just like to say a huge thanks to all of you guys for your continued support via either Patreon or PayPal or just the continued support via viewing my videos. It's really down to all of you guys that gives me the inspiration to continue filming and editing these videos. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.